Hello, and welcome to the product presentation of MyFi Plus EV2. My name is Daniel Rinner. I am the product manager for the MyFi Plus family and located in Austria, Gratcom. I would like to introduce to you the next evolution of MyFi Plus. Allow me to share with you a short overview on the MyFi Plus before we get into the product details of the MyFi Plus EV2. The first generation of MyFi Plus was introduced into the market in the year 2009. And major use cases of the product family are public transport, access, loyalty, micropayment, and many, many more. MyFi Plus comes with the block and sector structure as introduced with MyFi Classic more than two decades ago. That allows and enables to migrate existing reader infrastructures in a step-by-step -step approach into higher security. That is served with the possibility of sector-wise migrations on the MyFi Plus EV2, meaning not the entire card needs to be switched from one security level to the next, but only the sectors of need. More later on. MyFi Plus implementations are as well available on banking ICs, on secure elements, and are licensed to third parties. MyFi Plus EV2 is the latest extension of the existing MyFi Plus portfolio on a new secure controller platform based on C40 process with the latest secure measures, better transaction timings, improved RF performance, and interoperability towards legacy infrastructures. Now let's come to the key pillars of the MyFi Plus EV2. It is an optimized product with the backwards compatibility to all block and sector based MyFi products. MyFi Plus EV2 allows a seamless migration due to the sector wise security upgrade from Crypto 1 to 128 bit AES. Field tests results are very positive to allow a migration towards the MyFi Plus EV2. In implementations with a MyFi Classic in use, it allows to improve the user experience with cloud services. For example, an over-the-air top-up in SL1, SL3 mixed mode. And after migration of the infrastructure to SL3 with the support of AES and layer 4 mobile ticketing on NFC-enabled smartphones. Of importance is that ISO 7816 Wrapped commands are supported with ISO Select. The product offers additionally the possibility to set customized activation parameters to allow a migration in case of specific SAC and or ATQA values required for one or all security levels. The settings can be applied with the MyFab Plus configuration block to set the required value of need. The product offers an enhanced security by use of a transaction timeout timer to configure a maximum time a transaction is allowed to take, to avoid interference by a man in the middle attacker. With the support of MyFi Classic and the SL1 SL3 mixed mode up to SL3, it minimizes the total cost of ownership by upgrading only security relevant applications to AES security. Therefore, it allows a seamless step-by-step -step upgrade and not the urgency to do the security update of the infrastructure at once. With the support of the SL1, SL3 mixed mode and SL3, it allows a secure way to manage your card over the air, to provide more custom experience towards the end customers by reducing the cost of operations and maintenance of vending machines. MyFi Plus EV2 is a common criteria certified product as an extension of the existing MyFi Plus portfolio to target existing and new applications or installations requiring high level of security. The certificate is publicly available on the common criteria homepage. The product offers with the support of the originality check the possibility to limit fraud in the system either by support of the AES authentication with the 128-bit AES originality key or with the read signature command with the 56-byte public key. Out of the good results of the interoperability tests and the use of the SL1-SL3 mixed mode of the product, 
the total cost of ownership for public transport operator can be reduced by managing the card in a secure way over the air. Vending machines can be reduced or don't need to be expanded to allow customers to keep the physical card up to date. Means end customers don't need to queue up at vending machines and can do it directly on the way with the NFC enabled smartphone. Furthermore, force first measurements and comparison with the MIFA Plus portfolio show transaction performance improvements of up to two times faster transaction times to its predecessor. On the next slide, I want to make you aware that security is of importance and that there is the need to update it. Security measures needs to be updated on a regular basis to stay ahead of the known attacks. Out of the portfolio, MIFI Plus SE is the entry level towards the MIFI Plus family with no common criteria certification. MIFI Plus S and X are certified with a level of 4 plus. The latest released and certified product out of the portfolio is the MIFI Plus EV1 with the common criteria certification of 5 plus. And the next generation of product named the MIFI Plus EV2 is now certified with 5 plus with the security scheme implying resistance against attackers with high attack potential. Now coming to the transaction performance. By comparing the MIFA Plus EV2 with the previous version and the use of the reference transaction, the transaction timing decreases by a factor of up to two, meaning MIFA Plus is by far faster at the authentication as well as the read and write commands. That shows that a migration to the latest platform with the latest secure measures don't necessarily lead to longer transaction times. The engineering team did here a very nice job to improve the transaction timings towards the predecessor products. The same is valid if we compare the same reference transaction with the MIFA Plus X. The difference is a little less, but still at least 20% faster. It means that the MIFA Plus EV2 is the fastest product out of the portfolio. If we look into the operating range with the minimum field strength required to start transactions, both are below the ISO limit, but MIFA Plus EV2 starts already at 0.5 amps per meter. That means it offers 15% more operating range and 50% more operating volume. Now by combining the faster transaction times and the earlier start at lower field strength, it is a very nice performance improvement. To ensure that the product works in existing infrastructures and it will help to avoid queues at gates. MIFA Plus offers the same security levels as MIFA Plus EV1. The product is delivered out of NXP manufacturing in security level zero. That's the initial delivery configuration with the need to personalize the product with a write and commit versor command. It is recommended to write all keys, even if not required, from the beginning. A security level switch can be done either on the full card or on a sector by sector basis. Means as soon as the product is in security level one, the card is flexible to be upgraded on the sector by sector basis or on the full card. Security level one is the MIFA Classic backwards compatibility mode and allows a multi-sector authentication to improve the transaction performance. In addition, security measures are offered with the transaction timeout timer for the full transaction and the proximity check measuring the challenge response time. The originality check feature offers the possibility with a public key to check if the product is genuine. That allows to identify if non-trusted cards, an example non-authorized cards, are in the system. Furthermore, to leverage the AES authentication, own 128-bit AES keys are supported to identify the product in the field. The SL1 SL3 mix mode allows on sectors to upgrade with Crypto1 and AES. That 
a benefit if the infrastructure cannot be upgraded from the time being, but brings additional customer service to the end customers. An example to allow a secure top up with the NFC enabled smartphone of the physical card. Furthermore, a SL1 restriction in the MIFA Classic backwards compatibility mode can be granted to limit the risk of fraud from the SL1 interface. Means the full rights are granted from the SL3 interface by support of AES authentication, but from the SL1 interface only a read or decrement is allowed. In SL3, only AES is supported with the secure messaging modes. Additional mobile support can be added with the support of ISO 7816 wrapped commands, which is used on NFC enabled mobile phones. The transaction Mac brings trust in multi-service provider systems by proof that the transaction is genuine towards the backend system. Own transaction Mac keys are defined and checked towards the backend system to de detect potential fraud in a multi-service provider system. The transaction timeout timer and the proximity check allow to limit the risk of a man in the middle attack. Now on this slide, I want to show you the over the air top up with the add on towards end customers without the need to change the existing infrastructure. The MIFA plus EV2 needs to be configured in the so called SN1 SL3 mix mode and will be accepted in the legacy Crypto One installation whereby the SL3 mode allows to have a secure end-to-end -end connection towards the backend system. This allows to manage the physical card over the air in a secure way to increment the value onto the card with the NFC-enabled smartphone. That adds the benefit to the end customer that he stays anytime at any place in control of his card. It also allows to add value onto the card without the need to queue up at vending machines. For system integrator, it offers the option to minimize the total cost of ownership by upgrading only security relevant applications to AES security and need to expand the vending machines at additional stations. On the next slide, I want to show you the transaction make feature which helps preventing fraudulent merchant attacks in the multi-reader infrastructure. In example, it allows a merchant operating a point of sales terminal to prove that the transaction executed with customers are genuine towards the backend system. It reduces fraud by letting the card generate a TMAC over the transaction with a key shared only by the card and the backend system. Optionally, a commit of the reader ID of the merchant can be required. Mac generation also involves a TMAC counter maintained by the card, which allows the backend system to detect replay attempts by the merchant. In addition, this counter allows the backend system to detect missing transactions to allow detecting fraud, where in example, the merchant has increased the balance without reporting this transaction. The tra transaction make counter keeps logs of every transaction to allow a detection mechanism of replay attacks. MIFA Plus EV2 comes with a transaction timeout timer to mitigate man in the middle attacks. This new feature allows the card issuer to configure a maximum time a transaction can take to avoid interference by an attacker. Once the threshold is exceeded, the card will automatically reset. The timer is available in SL1 and SL3. The timer feature is not active in SL0, in the initial delivery state. As long as the timer has not expired, regular command executions are not influenced. The timer settings can be set to get a reset after one to three seconds, 10 to 30 seconds or 100 to 300 seconds. Of importance is that the implementation needs to take care that the time expiration does not occur during a normal transaction execution. Last but not least, on the next slide, the secure end-to-end -end channel in security level three is shown. 
In the example with an infrastructure upgraded to security level three, the physical card can be virtualized to allow next to the physical card, the NFC enabled smartphone to work. That allows the customer to choose if he wants to either use the physical card or the NFC enabled smartphone. The secure channel in SL3 enables a secure connection to the backend system to allow the transaction, including managing of the credential. On this slide, the security, the RF front end, and the functional certifications are shown of the MIFA Plus EV2. All the certificates are publicly available on the corresponding websites. Now on the next slide, I would like to show you the product support and the ordering information. MIFA Plus is offered as a wafer delivery in 120 micron on 12 inch wafer or in the modules MO4 and MO8. All types are available with 17 picofarad and 70 picofarad to serve all kinds of form factors. The sales items are coded in the same way as the predecessor, but with a two after the memory size. We have an easy way to differentiate. For more product details, please check on the official web page of nxp.com or myfair.net or get in direct contact with one of our NXP salespersons. The product types are officially launched and ready to order. Datasheet, application notes, and software packages, including sample codes, are available via the official distribution channel over DocStore. With that, I want to thank you for your time and your interest on the MIFA Plus EB2, and I wish you a nice day. Thank you. Goodbye.